would like to tell you that I am very impressed by your humane handling of the killing of innocent Muslims by terrorists in your country and uh, I wanted to convey my and my nation's regards. Thank you very much. I appreciate that and I sincerely believe this is how it should be. I hope other leaders do the same in their countries. Yes, well that's the point. Everyone shall be kind to Muslims. I have heard two doctors were brutally murdered in your country after being abducted recently. Oh yes, uh, I have uh, heard that too. Actually, my wife watches TV for me and she did inform me about that. So you are standing with victims' families? <laughs> Look Jacinta, you, you need to understand two things. First, they were not Muslims. And two, Pakistan has its own specific context. But whatever the context, they were humans and citizens of your country. Well, unfortunately, they were humans, but I will have to check with my interior minister if they were our citizens as well. <laughs> oh, sorry, my wife just informed me that uh, I'm also the interior minister. So, forget about them being our citizens or foreigners. They were not Muslims. But, Mr. Prime Minister, they were still humans. Look, Jacinda, you need to understand Pakistan. It is infested with corrupt people. They are all over, everywhere. If I take action against the killers, these looters and plunderers will gang up against me. And if my government gets, God forbid, hurt, it will weaken Pakistan, which is the fort of Islam, meaning this will hurt Islam. And you know, that's exactly that all the terrorists want to do, don't you? Terrorist wants to destroy culture of harmony, coexistence and peace. That's what I know and I also know that Pakistan has a big terrorist problem. <laughs> See, the problem here is very different from New Zealand. You know, in your country, the victim were Muslims and the predator was not Muslim. And so, it was easy for you to take sides and punish the terrorist. Over here, both sides are Muslims. How can I take sides? How can I know which one is a better Muslim? I certainly cannot go against a good Muslim. No matter whatever he does. You are the Prime Minister of all the people of your country. You should focus on who is the victim, who is the terrorist. No? Well, I'm afraid it's not that simple. You see, there is as yet no definition of the word terrorist acceptable to all. And then all the terrorists here are undercover agents of enemy countries, including the US. And you should stand with us Muslims. I stand with humanity, with principles of equality and justice for all. You should find some courage to do that too. Look Jacinda, we have just begun. I mean, we are just in first overs of our match. But as the pitch wears out, we have some great spinners who will, inshallah, win it for us. The time to act is now. You cannot look otherwise when such things happen. Well, I have a different strategy which I had employed to win the World Cup in 1992. I'll stick to that. Oh, I'm afraid that will be too late. <laughs> well, that's exactly what the whole world kept saying during the World Cup 1992. But you see, at the end, I prevailed. I don't understand what you're saying. The governments shall act swiftly and decisively. That's what people want. By the way, I don't understand cricket. Really? I'm surprised. Then how come have the youth of your country elected you? You know, I defeated New Zealand in the semi-final of that World Cup. Good for you. Beat us now. And that is no semi-final. It is the final match of your country. Isn't it it? What the you patwari, you patwari.